2020 Kia Niro Plug-in Hybrid Review Practical PHEV. The Kia Niro range is actually quite interesting. It's a trio of hatchbacks, all of which are electrified. There's the conventional hybrid for folks just dipping their toes in the green space, or the full EV, for those who are taking the plunge. For me, though, I think the best of all worlds is found here, in the Nero plug-in hybrid. For 2020 the Nero gets a small mid-cycle refresh, with a new front fascia with a redesigned grille and LED running lights. The rear lighting also gets an update and there's a new Horizon blue color on offer, too. Otherwise, the Nero is the same as it ever was, but that isn't a bad thing. Plug-in power. The Nero PHEV is motivated by a 1.6-liter inline four-cylinder engine and a 44.5 kilowatt electric motor. Together they make 139 horsepower and a healthy 195 pound-feet of torque. An 8.9 kilowatt hour lithium-ion polymer battery stores enough electrons for 26 miles of electric driving range. And when the gas engine comes on, it's mated to a six-speed dual-clutch automatic rather than a droning continuously variable transmission, like the Nero's rival, the Subaru Crosstrek PHEV. This makes the Nero far better to drive. Updated tech and lots of space. Inside, there's a nice tech upgrade for 2020, with Kia's Uvo infotainment system running on an optimal 10.2-inch touchscreen, the standard screen measures 8 inches. Uvo is fine, with crisp, clear graphics and both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard. Ironically, interior charging ports are on the sparse side in my tester, with just the wireless charging pad, two USB-A ports and a 12-volt outlet up front. There are no outlets in the armrest and none for rear seat passengers, either. I'm not a super fan of my EX Premium model's interior design. It's just a bit dark for my tastes, but the materials are of high quality and there are plenty of standard features like heated and cooled front seats, a heated steering wheel and wireless charging. The rear seats are plenty roomy and with 22.4 cubic feet of space behind the rear seats and 63.2 cubes with them folded down, there is plenty of utility to be had. The rear seats, however, don't fold completely flat and there isn't a lot of small storage space up front. Frugal and Functional the only true competitor to the Kia Niro PHEV is the similarly sized Subaru Crosstrek PHEV. It starts at just over $35,000 while the base Niro PHEV can be had for a few thousand dollars less. That said, no one at Roadshow has nice things to say about the plug-in Crosstrek. Your only other choice for a plug-in crossover is the larger Toyota RAV4 Prime, which offers 42 miles of all-electric driving range. You could also check out the Toyota Prius Prime which costs a few grand less than the Kia Niro PHEV, or the Honda Clarity PHEV, which is about $4,000 more and 10 times as ugly. The 2020 Kia Niro PHEV is for folks who care about fuel economy but may not yet be ready to commit to a full EV. The beauty of PHEV is that you can get much of your in-town driving done on pure electric power, but not be stuck having to recharge in the middle of a long road trip. The Nero PHEV offers up plenty of features and driver's aids for a nice price, too. All in, it's a practical, affordable plug-in.